Libra soul travelers, blessings and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle. It is Priestess Melissa here to do your weekly reading. We're going to get, be getting into the wisdom of the Hidden Realms tarot cards, <clears throat> excuse me, oracle cards to get a message for us this week and see if it comes out in the upright or the reverse position, which is going to give us a challenge or an ally. We'll then look a bit further into those messages and see what's going on with the tarot, starting with the light seers. And it looks like we have some endings and beginnings going on. A lot of major changes and transformations happening at the moment. Ooh, around partnerships or, you know, ending a third party perhaps kind of situation. Yeah, for sure. I wonder what that's all about. What else is coming out for us today? Ooh, some Seven of Swords energy. Very interesting. Always got to watch out for the thieves in the camp, huh? Well... Hopefully this will end up being a little easier than it's starting out. <laughs> but we're going to tap into also the uh, Vice Versa Tarot and get some more messages. Uh, guys, these readings are general. They may or may not resonate with you. Do check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign videos also for more messages. If you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me at venusianways.org. Also, guys, if you want to learn to read tarot, because guess what? You can learn to do so professionally or even just personally. But I can teach you how to do so. I am an initiated priestess, and I'm offering my services by holding a course for learning about tarot. Not just learning about the cards, but learning to intuit them. Also learning some basic spreads, as well as how to set your protective space all right so that's going to be some really good stuff we're going to learn there and then the moonology cards guys for our reading is going to give us some advice moving forward for this reading also we're going to get some love messages at the end from the lovers oracle cards yes all right guys and also i wanted to let you know that for those who participated in the halloween giveaway i've made the selections for the winners and i let you know, those people know already um on the comments where they commented on the videos last month all right in the weekly zodiac sign readings so thanks for everybody who participated it was so much fun and now we're going to get into your reading libra so watch your ears Thank you to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and gods. We honor you and thank you for the messages for Libra. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Beautiful Libra. This is so awesome. I'm a Libra too, so I always love seeing what comes out. Thank you so much for all of your likes, comments, shares, donations. Do hit the subscribe and bell notification if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the messages I put out, readings, weekly readings that I do for the zodiac signs, as well as more information on this tarot. Now, these are limited spots that I have for the tarot guys uh, course, so if you are interested, make sure I'll leave information in the description so you can reach out to me by email and let me know that you're interested, okay? So for Libra, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms tarot or Oracle cards, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle card. Show us what we need to know for Libra, please. Thank you. We have the Keeper of the Scales in reverse. Mm, so what's tipping our scales? Something's feeling unfair and unbalanced about something. 38. We saw that thief in the camp, all right? So maybe somebody close to you, you may have to be careful of. Look at this. We got a 38, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 11. Hmm. I wonder who this is all about. Look at you. It's like, you know, you're a fair person. You are balanced. You know, this is our energy, but why are we thrown off balance? Very interesting. Let's read this card today and get a little bit more information around it. Somebody definitely hasn't been fair to you is what it feels like to me, Libra. Because we're generally pretty good people, but I don't think you're imbalanced at this time. Events are turning your life upside down and you may be dizzy and confused. Are you feeling that life is unfair for you right now? A little bit. Do you believe others are getting ahead and leaving you behind? Could your ego be throwing things off? Your pride and self-centeredness may be weighing 
down the scales. Oops, we got to be aware of that. Another message could pertain to the behavior of others throwing your life out of whack. Are you around drama that causes you to become ungrounded or caught up in it? The keeper of the scale says it is time to take a break. Do whatever is necessary to bring yourself back into balance. Let go of all people, behaviors, or conditions that bring you into disharmony. You will be very grateful when balance is restored and you're off the roller coaster. Remember that what goes around comes around. Justice will be served one way or another and harmony will be restored. Beautiful, I love that for us Libra. Balance will be restored. So let go of people, circumstances, whatever you need to let go of. 555 five, five, coming up on the timer to come back into balance. Maybe three things we need to let go of, I don't know. All right, emperor energy coming out here today. Definitely some person that could be in our energy, some authoritative figure of some sort perhaps, usually denotes to a father or a husband. Ooh, definitely could be somebody you're married to for sure. 420, is that? No, nope, that was 620, sorry. Interesting. So definitely somebody you could be married to, making you feel stuck. All right, trying to get a perspective on a way out of this situation, perhaps. Interesting. Let's see what's going on, Libra. I'm not in any situations to have to get out of, but... I can understand some of that. So four of wands in reverse. So home being thrown off balance. That's what's crossing us. So the home is definitely thrown off balance. Four of pentacles holding back. So we're holding back. Watching our money because pentacles here. She's holding her pocketbook. See? So watch your money right now is definitely what I'm hearing with this energy. Uh, because something unjust or imbalanced, unbalanced may happen, may cause you to have to take a different path than what you were expecting. All right, and you're going to have to, um, yeah, something wasn't growing, whatever this was. You kept watching and waiting for it to, but maybe it just wasn't time for it to yet. And it can get to a point at, at points where you're just like, what is going on here? Am I doing something wrong? Why am I not understanding, you know, what I need to do to get myself out of this situation? Or why is this situation happening? Why do I feel like my money's being affected? Well, you're completing a cycle is what it looks like here. And maybe it is all around money and maybe things are about to open up. Whatever this injustice has been, now things are about to be much better. All right, but maybe things have to be shaken up a little bit first. What do we need to let go of, you know? And here it is again with the injustice coming out in the center. So definitely it feels like there could be people trying to cause injustice behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Unhappiness for you. Maybe even just simply because they don't like the fact that they see something that's coming for you. That you're about to end a cycle because of all the hard work that you've been putting in. Even though you haven't seen, you know, the fruits of your labor just yet. But... The point is, is that regardless of what it seems like, you have planted those seeds. You just have to keep nurturing them, all right? You have to hold back your energy, your money, your resources, not connecting with this negative energy as well, feeling like you're blocked, perhaps. Four of Pentacles. We have the two of wands in reverse, maybe feeling like right now things aren't working out, that that path is not opening up, or not sure which path to take at this time. Um, and because of that, you know, it's like you're not seeing that path of abundance, which, you know, the way that you can go, the way to help bring the balance back. So, yeah, definitely a lot of worrying, especially if something gets cut out if, if your path gets blocked, and that's what I'm seeing here with this 
page of wands in reverse and this nine of swords energy a lot of worry if things change up and that seems like that could be the case that you're having to move in a different direction but it seems like this is actually going to be something good for you if that happens so we've got the ten of pentacles with the seven of pentacles it absolutely is coming. Whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever you've been growing, um, building could be a project, even with all the pinnacles, that beginning is coming. This is birth, all right? And this is just about having that patience and balance to see it through. Libra, you've got this. Hit that like button if you're resonating. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yes, three of pentacles, all right? Maybe you're having a hard time believing that that path is going to open up, but we got to make sure that we are open, our third eye is open, not closed, so that we can see that path, we can see that wave when it's ready for us to jump on and change things for the better for ourselves. Things are looking up, cycles are ending, it's time to begin again. What's coming here with the world energy? Oh my goodness, look at this. What is this energy? You're putting an end to something after someone has ended things with you or tried to put an end with to you. It's like you're starting a new cycle. You're not even dealing with this energy any longer. You're no longer giving your energy to it. You're no longer standing up for it. You're on a new cycle. Whatever this is that may be trying to affect you at this time, that seems unfair and imbalanced and unjust and all of that, just know that it's working itself out. Don't think that, you know, um, you've done something wrong is what I'm hearing spirit saying. It's just a matter of all of those energies having to clear out so that your abundance can come in that you're looking for, this generational wealth. It is coming. Those seeds that you've planted, the energy that you put towards it have not been in vain. People just may make you think that or it may feel that way because all of this is ending. It's almost like a death of yourself to move into this new phase. You know what I mean? What is the advice for Libra, please? We got both your cards out here. The answers you need are coming, so just know that. And conclusions are within reach. That's beautiful. Could be dealing with Gemini energy, but in any case, that's the twins. We got 11 energy with this keeper of the scales. You know we need that balance of the mot and the heart, right? We know all about that with the scales. So that has to be light, lighter than a feather. And we wanna release all that we need to all the negative energies, heavy, dense feelings, and um, all of that around situations that can tip our scales, right? And get ourselves back on track in balance and with our scales balanced once again. Understanding that, you know, when people do us wrong, it's just that they're not in the right place and we're not either. Or we wouldn't have drawn those people in, right? And we would have made sure that they were balanced with us um, and that we were balanced too so that we could have the right kind of relationship. But this gives us an opportunity to clear out all of that energy, all right? Because once we empty, then we can fill it with the right stuff. So just make sure you fill it with the right stuff, you know what I mean? Ooh, passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. And I believe that's because people see you balancing yourself out. I really do feel like that that's what's happening for you because, I mean, I get it. I've dealt with a lot too, but, you know, we're going to get through this. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, what came out here? Here we go. We got an angel. Acceptance is the key to inner peace, so no more holding on to resentment, right? At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And why would we want to do that anyway? We're more beautiful when we exude our true energy. And, you know, just be careful who you share that energy with because you don't want your scales getting all tipped off balance again. Right, Libra? All right. Well, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe and bell notification. And thank you guys so much for being with me. Have a great week ahead. See you soon. And bye for now.